Hello, this is Mike Kittner here from 360 Heroes. And our next step after formatting cards is actually importing the data uh, from our, our camera system into, uh, into the cam man so it can help manage the files. So when we put all this together, the first thing we did is we went out and labeled all of our cards, one, two, three, four, five, six, like I was showing you earlier. And then I use this particular card that I actually picked up at Best Buy um, or also uh, Amazon has this. And I like this card reader the best because what it just allows me to do is very quickly just plug them in to the top and I can just exchange them uh, very quickly as I move from one to the next. So let's bring up our, our camera manager uh, software. And again, step one was formatting the card, so now we're going to go to step two. Now, with each one of these steps, if you follow each one of these steps, step A, B, C, D, E, it'll take you through each one of the phase. The first thing we want to do is in step A is want to make sure we have uh, correct the correct camera that we're camera head that we're using. So we're using the 360-0-360-H6, and you can grab different models, 6N, 7, the HD models, the HD10 model, and then we also have the 3D models, which uh, while importing it does the left and right eye, so it really uh, makes a big difference in sorting out all the gear types. And then um, if you have these other gear that's out here, you can also uh, use this to customize the amount of cameras and, and 3D heads as well. So let's go back to the H3 Pro 6. And the first thing we want to do is make sure we select our camera, which we've done. Now we want to select our micro SD drive. So we want to install the first micro SD card into its slot. And it remembers all the settings we have done before, but we're just going to go out here and find it again. And we know we found this because it's telling me that this is a 360 card, head one, camera one. And we just select that. The second thing it also wants to do is notice when we go to look that we can actually see our files are loaded onto the system. And we want to set our, the next uh, step here in C is set our project folder destination. So we, we're going to pop this on my um, E drive into a folder called 360 video. And then these are some sample projects that we have in here. And again, we're just looking for the base folder because the project name, this becomes a project name, which is set here. So we'll now set our project name as in um, test training. And we're going to tell it to create that project folder. So what I can do is I can use this to get and refresh the files. It'll show you over here the files that we're going to import. If I hit Show Explorer, what it automatically does is pop up a window, and it shows you uh, the 360 video folder and test training folder. So this is where the raw data will actually be uh, imported. Now it's automatically saying, OK, we want to begin copying files on our micro SD 1 to 6 and it's going to put it into our project area. So let's go ahead and start doing that. And immediately the system says load drive 1 to 6 into the system. The drive is ready. It says it's looking for head 1 card 1 and it notices card 1 is loaded. Now we can just hit copy and then this window will pop up and, and ask you to click copy every single time. Um, or what you can do is you can click the auto start and when it recognizes the card that it's actually copying it'll automatically uh, do that for you automatically and as soon as it gets uh, finished copying it then brings up the second card so it, it, it's actually fairly fast in how it copies these takes so we're going to pull the first card out and we're going to put in card two. And as soon as it recognizes the cards, it stars, uh, starts copying. 
and then our project folder uh, that we actually had up and running was on drive E 360 video test training and here you can see where it's copying in these files so while it's doing this let's load our next card in here so it can be working on card 3 and we'll put our disk details on so that you can kind of see how the files are being named into the system and now it wants card 4 So as you can see, it's pretty fast. As soon as the window pops up to exchange the system, um, it automatically starts copying the data in. So it's saying head one, camera one, and this NA is used for uh, left eye, right eye for 3D, a project folder, and then also the original GoPro file name. So we're preserving all that information. And now we're going to put in camera number five, or card number five. And as you can see, it's, it's loading up each file, preserving um, the project name and the original GoPro name um, as well. And it now wants me to put in card number six. And we're all set. Okay, so now we've copied in all of our files. And what's kind of nice is you can have a window up and kind of see all the data that's being copied in at the same time. Or again, you can go over here and click Show Explorer and it'll take it to you. So now we've done the copy data file ends. Now we want to organize the folders. So to do that, we're going to jump over to Manage Local Files and Takes. So here's all the files that we're actually dealing with. And we can open uh, this existing project folder. Again, this is another way of taking it over there. And what we're going to do for this example is we're just going to slide this over on the side. And then I'm going to organize these files like this so that you can kind of see what is happening to the system while this whole thing is working. Um, it's probably better to put them like this, I think. Let's see. Medium icons. Now we'll keep it uh, detailed so that you can see all the individual files that we're going to be working with. Now in this mode, what we want to do is we have our test project folder that we were dealing with. And um, it automatically knows we had six cameras. There's 42 files here. And there's an estimated seven takes. But we're not really sure of that. So what we're going to do is we're going to open the video analyzer. And what the video analyzer uh, program does is it goes out and looks at all the data that's in this particular area and to determine how uh, we want to look at each one of these files. The other thing that's kind of unique about this program is it gets very detailed in telling me that the width and the height of each camera, the aspect ratio, the frames per second. So what's what I would recommend doing is, is um, you do this file copying right on scene. And when you do that, you can very quickly make sure that you've got all 48 frames per second for every file. you got the proper frame width and height for each one of the files, uh, frame ratio. So you can very quickly determine um, that your cameras were programmed correctly. Next thing we're going to take a look at is we're going to look at cameras by take and video length. Or we can also see it in actual seconds as well. And when we look at this one here, the, the card and everything performed perfectly for us so that we can see that these we used the remote and they were within a couple seconds of each other, uh, or excuse me, within a second of each other and about a half a second uh, trigger. So it's very, very close with each one of these takes. And it doesn't look like I have to move anything around. Uh, I've got all the information that I have. What's going to be really nice is I'm going to show you what happens when we missed a couple files from takes. It'll show you how to, the system here will help you organize that. The other thing which you can also do is if you click a particular cell like this and you hover over, 
it'll tell you what that particular file name is and you can also right click over it and say play uh, the mp4 file uh, associated with that and when you go to do that it'll actually pop up uh, that particular file and, and let you take a look at it. You can program your um, your mp4 file by doing it this way here so we want to find our VLC player and VLAN and here's our VLC player and then what we can do is just there we go and I'm here to tell you about play on screen so we'll be able to right click over and it would automatically play that video um, that's in that particular location so it allows you to easily trace this but here's where the cam man really comes into uh, powerful is as we say that we've got our takes here and what we're going to do is say move video to each one of your take folders so once we do that it automatically took all of my files that I had separately and it just created all of my separate takes when I open up each one of the takes here um, here's all the files that were associated with it so that's actually taking the files from the cards right into the file management and as you can see it's a major time saver so that's the 360 heroes 360 cam man um, steps two and three copying the data from the uh, hard drive and then actually managing the files inside using the video analyzer.